My friends, in my new home at St. John Fisher Seminary Residence in Stanford, I have the privilege of having a Eucharistic Adoration Chapel attached to the very seminary itself. And I make it my business each day to stop in and spend some time adoring the Lord. And of course, he's there in a monstrance under the form of bread. And yet I know that is the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus. The truth is the Lord is present in every tabernacle, in every church throughout the world. And it's a great gift that we oftentimes forget. As we turn our attention to Our Lady, we need to remember that Our Lady was a living tabernacle, wasn't she? She bore within herself the same Lord Jesus who in the sacrament comes to us in the Eucharist. She was a living tabernacle to those around her as the Lord now dwells in the tabernacles of the world where you and I live. Let us ask her to lead us to her son. And one of the best ways to do that in prayer is to spend time before the tabernacle and when possible before the Eucharist itself in adoration, in thanksgiving, in gratitude, and in petition for the things we need. For in the end, my friends, all of our prayer is meant to lead us to Christ who will lead us to the Father. And Mary can help us find our way to the one whom she bore in her own womb and through whom, in his name, you and I have eternal life.